You guys, we need to talk about the F word. Ooh, we're dropping F bombs. You see, this is why people find typical white girls annoying. Feminism. To be honest with you guys, I used to not want to call myself a feminist. Yeah, well, when you look at something critically, you tend to see it for exactly what it is, not what you want it to be. I thought feminism was about bra burning and man hating. Well, yeah, it kind of is all those things. And a bit more extreme, but I guess for now we'll just stick to those things. And then I took a women's studies class and I realized... You realized feminism was exactly what you wanted it to be. An excuse for your shortcomings that can be blamed on nebulous, unfalsifiable concepts. Whoa, being a feminist is actually just about equality. It's really, really not though. It only continues to push for the rights of women. They say it's all about equality, but I don't see a men and equalities committee in the British government, though I do see a women and equalities committee. So if you're like I was and you're not sure you want to identify as a feminist, Feminist. Oh, believe me, I'm quite sure I don't identify as a feminist. Hear me out, because here's five signs you might be a feminist and you didn't even realize it. There seems to be a lot of back and forth on this particular issue. You hear some feminists saying these radicals aren't true feminists, and the other ones, the women that say you most likely are a feminist and don't even realize it. Just another head on the vile beast of feminism arguing with itself. Number one, you think women should make the same amount of money as men for doing the same job. That's one of the groundbreaking things you learned in your women's studies course, is it? I don't suppose they bothered to tell you there are laws in place which guarantees this is the case. What? Mind blowing. This one seems so obvious, but the pay gap is still a very real thing. No, it's not. It's mathematically flawed and you're an idiot for believing in it. And the disingenuous professors who teach this garbage as fact should lose their jobs. This is what education has been reduced to. You might remember Jennifer Lawrence wrote a powerful essay about this, and many of our favorite celebrities have spoken out about the issue too. I don't know if the emails were ever released by the hacker group calling themselves Guardians of Peace, quite an ostentatious name for a group of script kiddies. If they did, I'd like to see them firsthand, and if not, it's hearsay and inadmissible. It's also worth noting that the information available publicly on the pay gap was 2% difference between some of the stars, with one of them being a man receiving 2% less and another being a woman receiving the 2% higher amount. Jennifer was obviously paid 2% less, which frankly is something her agent should have dealt with rather than Sony themselves. So she wrote an extremely acidic article trying to come off as humble and passive aggressive and failing at both and looking like a complete cunt. I'll link it below. If I don't use my voice um, for women who don't have a voice, then what's the point? And I'll use my voice for men everywhere who don't have a voice, or more correctly, don't have a platform to use their voice. Number two, you want control over your body and reproductive rights. This doesn't mean you have to believe in abortion. You say men shouldn't get any say in this whatsoever, but given having a baby ties the father into a lifelong contract just as much as the mother. And should the marriage break down, it'll most likely be the man working his ass off to pay for his ex-wife's comfortable life. I think men's opinions are sorely underrepresented in these issues. It can mean you don't want anyone taking birth control away from your health insurance coverage. Preventing unplanned pregnancy is a key way to prevent poverty. Well, I mean, we have the NHS over here, so I wouldn't really know enough about the issue to comment. But what you're saying is the poor shouldn't breed. Great, that's, that's just great. Babies are really cute. No, they're really, really not. They're messy, noisy, smelly, useless balls of pudge that can't hold an interesting conversation. But they can totally change the track of your life and they're really expensive. So, you know, you wanna to try to plan for that. How is that feminist advice? That's just general life advice. I'm planning for my future. That certainly doesn't make me a feminist. It makes me just not an idiot. Number three, you want to be known for more than just your looks. Oh god, number three, we're only halfway through these. What about models? They want to be known for their looks, strippers, not just women either, men can do both. Sure, we all want to be told we're beautiful, but we also know that our worth comes from more than just our looks. We'd also like to be told we're smart and adventurous and creative and funny. Yeah, you see, for that to work, you'd actually need to be smart, adventurous, creative, or funny. Fill in the blank. We queens! To cleanse us all of the stupidity we have just witnessed, here's a picture of Queen Elizabeth II. Number four. 
You like books and movies with a strong female lead. I'm talking Hunger Games, Frozen, Hermione and Harry Potter, Wonder Woman. You like to see girls slay. I like how you have to say Hermione from Harry Potter because she wasn't the lead. Wonder Woman generally sucks, but sure, The Hunger Games was good. See, I don't like films or TV shows based on the gender of the main character. It tends to be the story that sucks me in and makes me like or dislike it. If you judge a book by its cover, i.e. there's a woman on that cover, that's your problem and most likely the result of your woman's studies course. And finally, number five. You're into other forms of equality. Do you care about racial equality? Do you support same-sex couples having the freedom to get married? Hey, maybe you believe in equality for women too. I don't need to believe in equality for them. They have equality. Yes, I support same-sex marriage. Yes, I support equal rights for minorities, which they all have, despite the homegrown terror group BLM being allowed to roam around unchecked and all women already having equal rights. So that's all you could come up with. I assume it's because you struggle to count higher than five. That's why people like you tend towards courses like women's studies. All right, guys, I hope after watching this video, you realize that feminism at its core is just in support of equality. Feminism at its core is cancer. It's like a big, throbbing, ideological tumor. It's not about belittling men, it's about evening things out so girls have the same opportunities as guys. Well, yeah, that'd be nice. The same chance to drown on a sinking ship, not being evacuated first. The same opportunity to die in the workplace. Have the same chance of killing yourself. Yeah, yeah, I could definitely get behind that equality. Go team! So lovely viewers, in support of true equality, in what ways do women have it much, much easier than men in society today? An easy one this time, I know. I'll put the answers that make me laugh the most at the end of my next video, and as always, thank you for your time.